Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this video comes a little late, a little after the, the previous couple of videos that I posted on my channel, but uh, nonetheless, I found an issue, or I was dealing with an issue the last couple of days um, with the uh, Cody Krypton 17.0, um, and so I thought I would post this quick little video on basically how to fix uh, some of the issues that I was running into, and I think a lot of people uh, are also experiencing this issue. So basically, uh, I downloaded uh, Cody Krypton 17.0 or 17.1 that was available on the official Cody downloads page. And after installing and adding everything into the applications uh, folder and everything like that, uh, Cody would basically crash as soon as I clicked on it to open it up. And I tried a whole bunch of different things, restarting the computer, uh, re-downloading, trying different things, and it basically never worked. It would always crash, and I was pretty confused as to why this was happening. And uh, basically today I figured out, uh, or I, I guess I found a, a reason why, and I'll give a shout out to uh, Walt Man here on the forum, or on the Cody forums, which I will link to in the description below. But basically uh, he pointed out that some of the databases, I guess, are corrupt or something like that, uh, which are causing the Krypton to crash upon booting up. And so you have to go into your folders and, and delete the required files in order for it to kind of regenerate its its new uh, files and stuff like that. So basically I'll just walk through uh, how to do that really quickly and again shout out to uh, uh, Waltman Walt Man on uh, the Cody forums for pointing this out. But basically you're going to go and type in users. So pull up your users folder after which you're going to scroll down hit library and you'll scroll down to application support so we're going to hit library application support and scroll down until you see the Cody folder and once we hit the Cody folder so go ahead and open your Cody, fo Cody folder after which you're going to see the folder user data so go ahead and open user data and you are going to open up the database folder and this is where the database is uh, I guess went corrupt or what happened to me anyways and again this is what Walt man suggested so shout out to him but basically uh, for whatever reason the 27 add-on 27 database was corrupt or went corrupt something didn't work there so basically just take your this file here and just drag it to your your garbage can and you're gonna just delete that I've already done that, so I'm not going to actually delete this. It's been regenerated, but basically, so you'll throw that in the trash, wipe it, get rid of it, and then you can go ahead and open Cody, and it should work completely fine. You won't have any crashes. It'll regenerate all the stuff that needs to do, and you'll be good to go. So that's basically, in short order, that is uh, kind of what you need to do there. Basically, just go into your users, applications, get into that Cody, Cody folder, and, uh, and delete this database, and you're good to go. I hope this video helps uh, for anybody who's experiencing this crash. Again, I was looking online, basically, how to fix this and what was wrong, and it sounded like a lot of people were experiencing this problem. So, again, I hope that this, uh, this helps everybody, and uh, I'll see you on the next